<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the Unreal Engine weekly Twitch live stream. Sorry we missed you over the Thanksgiving break, but we're uh, super happy to see you all again here. Uh, I'm Chance, this is Alex, we're your hey uh, engine community team here, and so uh, you probably noticed it's like, oh, you're just going to cover news and community spotlight this time. The, the team's been, you know, cranking it away on a number of things for 411 and all the great things that are coming off there, but the good news is we have a lot of really exciting news um, coming yeah. out of Epic over the last we few weeks. We have a lot to catch up on, yeah, because yeah. a lot has been coming out and we just haven't had a chance to really talk a lot about it, so... Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So we're gonna dive into it right now. Uh, you might notice the sounds a little bit different. We've got some new hanging mics in here. We don't have these whole uh, tethers that keep us to our chair, so we can just randomly disappear when things get odd yeah, and we say but, something weird. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing on my face. No, and normally just, have like those little yellow yeah. mics on. So we wanted to kind of do that. Um, we want some feedback on that as well to kind of see, you know, how we can improve the uh, the experience overall. But the goal there is to be able to have more and more people hop in and hop out of the live streams over time, um, so we can do more, you know, dynamic stuff mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. we've got, you know, oh, we wanted to call Ori in that one time, you know, we actually have him come <laughs> sit on the couch with us and just kind of instead of like lean so. in through the through the doorway, yeah, and, and then yell find, him a, find him a find <laughs> him a hand mic or something, so. Uh, hopefully it'll uh, you know Im improve the quality of life for everybody all mm -hmm. around, both you and us. So if there's anything strange about that, uh, just definitely let us know. Yeah, give us feedback right in the chat. Let us know if it sounds weird or you know or just yeah. anything, or if you like it, you know, just let us know. And the same thing, you say feedback in the chat. There's also the feedback on the forums. You know, just tag it with the community prefix, and mm -hmm. you know we'll be able to take a look at it and kind of see how we can improve for you all. Um, all right, so great. Let's cool. hop over to the news, news. man. Dun dun dun. News. There, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you may have seen a blog post go up last week about official Unreal Engine user groups. So over the past year or so, I've been working with a number of different um, user group organizers all over the world, and you know we really want to be able to dive into what the great work that these teams are doing mm -hmm. and uh, find out how we can help support them and, and help you know grow uh, local communities and, and get people in touch with each other. And we know that this is a very good way for everyone to scale. So. Uh, uh, we have currently, everything's built up to, uh, roll down just a little bit, Alex. Sorry, I rolled you, you up. You just rolled me up. <laughs> yeah, well. So, uh, currently, these groups get to post in our events forums. You know, you can see us promote them across our, our channels there. Mm -hmm. There's specific Epic and partner mm -hmm. swag that's exclusive to these groups. So, if there's one in your area and you want to head out to one, you know, uh, I definitely suggest doing it. It's a great place to get connected, great place to, to you know, get, you know, kind of a local support community, if you will. To grow your skills, learn, uh, and meet other people, network, recruit, those kinds of things too. So uh, mm -hmm. if you click that, here's our quickly growing list. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, on the wiki right now, there's a there's a list here, and there's more that that I have, and I haven't got all the information to put up quite yet. Zoom in a little. But uh, if you see your city on here, that's great. You know, uh, get in touch with the contact there, shoot me a message, or just join their meetup. Most of these are meetup.coms or Facebook groups. Uh, and uh, we've got even more information, more exciting information about that to come forward with what this group is about, or with this program that we're working with these groups is all about. So, uh, also, if you know of a group that's not on this list uh, that we don't know about quite yet, there's a couple on Meetup that you know I've kind of been in touch with. We just haven't really been able to connect. Um, let us know. There's a, two two blog comments came through already that were saying, mm -hmm. yeah, there's an Armenian group, so you yeah, should get them yeah. in touch. So. We didn't even know you guys were there, so please reach out to us. Don't be afraid yep. to just show up on you know wherever and contact us. And also, on this very page, there's a, a discussion page going dun, on. Dun, Click. Dun. And, yeah. uh, Woo. what? There's, Raleigh. <laughs> there's a there's a, a need for a Raleigh user group. So if you have uh, if you yeah if you have a group that we're not aware of, it's not on the list, or you're trying to form one or whatever, just come on into the discussion and you know post your stuff. Let us know. Yeah, the wiki is a good place for us to kind of yeah. keep all this information in one spot, but at the same time too, always over a community yes. of feedback. So any way you can reach out, yeah. just let us know that there's interest. We can try to help find people in your area and help you all organize. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no harm in telling us in every which way you can. Nope. Cool. All right, so you might be able to control W that one. Pew. Uh -huh. And that one. Pew. Great. All right. So on that note, uh, our group out in Los Angeles run by Wakas is super awesome. If you're at GDC, you probably got to meet Wakas. He is having a meetup, uh, or they are having a meetup, yeah. I believe on the 16th. Yeah, Side Effects is actually going to be there, so uh, doing some demonstrations. Uh, Peter Newton, I think, is going to be also presenting uh, after reading it. Peter is Silent X on the forums. He was also at GDC, so if you're there, you might see that. Oh, so if you're cool. in the LA area, I you know I suggest swinging by and checking it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wakasa's great. The, the community out there is awesome. Uh, I've met so many of you over the 
the course of the years, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I wish I could go myself, but alas, I will be chained here to cold and rainy North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cold and rainy. That's so cold. Cool. All right. Next up, so our good friends over at the ARC team, Studio Wildcard, they just had a survival of the fittest um, <laughs> competition. It's a mod competition, actually. As you know, the ARC dev kit is available on the Unreal Engine launcher. And uh, you can kind of see the top 10 that are in here as well. They, they've kind of pared it down to that. It's sponsored by a number of different hardware providers. And uh, <laughs> yeah, rolling down, you can see like the list of names. Yeah. Uh, there they all go. are. There's all their their finalists, and they're gonna have you know the actual winner <laughs> announcement on December 22nd. Temp my Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. there's been some really amazing things uh, that have come across <laughs> come across in the mod scene here now. So talking about UE4 mod for all you UE4 developers out there, uh, keep an eye out for what Studio Wildcard does with their mod competitions. This is a really great way. Uh, to get involved with a really great game. So there's opportunities like this come, come around every once in a while, and uh, the team's super helpful to work with. The community over there is great. Yeah. Uh, the tools are all, all already available if you've lined up for, uh, if you signed up for mm -hmm. uh, Unreal Engine. And yeah, uh, yeah it's fantastic. So we're, we're excited to see how it all works out, how it all pans out here. But uh, yeah, we suggest getting involved uh, as things come over in the future. All right, next cool. up. So since we missed last week, uh, going on the weekly Paragon Hero announcements, mm -hmm. uh, Decker was, was dropped uh, a week ago, and you can see her here and all the yeah. beauty. Do, She's do, very do. cool. That's some shiny armor. Mm -hmm. Every time I see this, I'm like, man, I want that armor. It's fancy. Like, it's kind I don't of Mass Effect. -y. Most people know I really like Mass Effect, so yeah. every time I see something like that, I'm like, yep, want to be part of it. I want to live in that universe. Anyway, so you can go sign up for the beta, you know, at uh, playparagon.com or just Epic Games, you can find it from there. Uh, and you can choose, the uh, same thing before you can choose as a, as a hero and, and pick a perk from there uh, as you sign up for the beta. So, you know, I suggest doing that. Um, I'm super stoked for this. Uh, you know, can't wait to share more. Speaking of sharing more, Next tag, Grux. Grux just announced today. I love his tag, Shatter Their Will. Yes, this thing definitely looks like it's one to uh, shatter many things. Yeah, he's, he's big. Uh, so we just announced a, a Grux today. You know, the team's super excited about it, uh, as again am I. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't signed up for the beta, go check out these latest heroes. There's also Sparrow and the others. That it's a face a mother could love right there. Yes, a face a mother could love and others. <laughs> Not just only. All uh, right. Cool. Cool. All right, next up. So you might have seen that there are new forums at the very bottom of the Unreal Engine forums. Um, they got brought up kind of quickly here, so it's not icons or anything else, and only a few threads have started there. But we know there's a lot of you out there that were huge uh, UDK developers, as was I, right? And there's still you know, mm -hmm. a, a thriving community <clears throat> over at uh, forums.epicgames.com where a lot of these discussions are taking place. Um, as we near the end of 2015, we are looking to sunset those forums on epicgames.com uh, and move the Unreal development community, or the UDK community, over to uh, unrealengine.com. The, the goal here is to kind of keep the whole Unreal yeah. development community in one place, Get right? a little bit spread out, want to get the get right. in kind of one place. So a lot of, a lot of the UDK developers are already UE4 developers. Some of you are probably in chat. I saw you there earlier, Geodab. Yep. <laughs> uh, and a number of the beta participant people that have badges, you know, you, they were a lot of those were UDK developers as well. So uh, if you're still liking the legacy tools, you know, still working on something in UE3 or UDK, this will be a new place for you to come and, and discuss things that are uh, that are new about your game. You can chat your projects. You can chat about making content. You can talk about programming. And uh, when we first made the announcement on the Epic Games forums, everyone was like, "Oh no, I can't believe that." You're doing away with these. What about all this really great, you know, information? Uh, all this great threads, all this great information here. Yeah. Like we totally understand that that is. Yeah, there's a wealth of knowledge there over the last what five, six years, mm -hmm. uh, and so we want to preserve that. So uh, what we're going to do first is it'll just be closed for new posting, and it'll be living in a read-only, searchable archive form. So. Yeah. Uh, we're not you, just nuking it. Yeah, no, we're you not can, monsters. Nobody's losing anything. It'll be more of like you know a historical reference, and then new conversations, new projects that are taken up in UDK can can continue their uh, their life out here on the UnrealEngine.com forums. Mm -hmm. um, I have one more thing to say about that, and I can't recall. Oh, yeah, that's right, badges. So yeah. there's a lot of older badges as well that are different than our new forum badges, and so. 
as they come up, after the new year, the first thing we're going to do is start moving over um, appropriate badges that have a good analog into the Unreal Engine 4 space. So there are some other people over there that, you know, have like, I help the community. It would be more of like a community spotlight type thing, you know, or an answer hub thing, depending on, on what it looked like. So uh, don't worry. You should not lose anything. I'm hoping that you gain very much in this. Uh, and we're, we're, we're excited to bring everybody together. All right. All right. Next up. Let's see. Yep, we got a couple more here. Oh, yes, perfect. So, boop, boop, cool things there. I wanted to call it one more time. Join Unreal Slackers on Chack if you, and Slack if you have not. When I pulled this link up earlier, it was 710, now there's 743. Um, I wanted to specifically call this out again because, you know, Nick over there has been really great at administering this and uh, getting it up and running. Uh, you can sign up yourself at uh, unrealslackers.herokuapp.com and just send in there and he'll, he'll bring you in. But there's a bunch of different chat rooms in there. Uh, it's all archived so you can go back and search. Slack is a really great tool if nobody's using it. And because of that, Clint, if you can cut over here, because of his hard work, everything's done there, we're gonna be sending him yeah. this wonderful Unreal Engine backpack. So Nick, I don't know if you're in the chat or whatever, but I'll be reaching out to get your address to get this little guy out to you. So Pete thank you, for, thank you for, is he in there? No, I don't see Pete You don't see him in there yet? Uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, but yeah, we're uh, we're really thankful for all the work that really. you're doing, and we uh, really love that Slack channel. You know, we to jump in there to. and say hey and hang out. I know I'm trying to get more Epic developers in there. I mean, there's yeah. a number of us already. Yeah, 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 like, Shelly's like in there, Nick Darnell's, Nick Darnell's in there. In there big yeah. people. Yeah, so it's really cool. There's a lot of really great discussion happening in there. Um, it's just one more place to have real time chat with a community, uh, and uh, yeah, and it's run by run by you all, and uh, you know we absolutely love that, and we're just happy to be a part of it with you. Um, all right, back over to the monitors if you can, real quick. Right. And dun, dun, uh, the, dun. For, the, for those people that are asking what is Slack, because this actually isn't what Slack is, it's just the opening. Slack is a chat system, which is great for hanging out and talking. In. Yeah, yeah. Slack is a is a real time chat with a bunch of features, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like Skype plus 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 plus. Yes. All right. Uh, so I wanted to call this out. Oh, can you zoom in a little bit on that? It's a little bit small. Just over up on Aller's profile, if you can. Oh, there you go. All right. Uh, so we added another badge for all the people that have been called out in the Answer Hub, uh, part of the community spotlight. And yeah, we got Aller Hero of the Peel. Thanks, Clint. <laughs> Clint's over there laughing. I don't know if you can hear him with the hanging mics, but uh, <laughs> the, the the joke lives on. No, so, uh, you know, we're going to continue the trend of bringing up the top, you know, Answer Hub, Karma Earners of the Week, and y'all will be getting these badges. We have a number of retro badges to send out. Actually, you probably already have them, because I think I just went and assigned them all already. Mm -hmm. um, so, yay, I'm excited about that. Um, yeah. I just want to call out Aller here so you can kind of see what a stack of badges looks like and answer have being right there up on top. So thank you again. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was say, just now that I'm looking at it, it's going to drive me crazy if it's because it's all kind of like mismatched. It's yeah. not in alphabetical order, nor is it like color and then gray or gray yeah. than color. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting OCD at it. Yeah, it's all right. Well, you can do the badge things. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, so wanted to call out again, just shout out to everybody that helps out in the Answer Hub in the community. Thank you so much. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, you're an integral part of what makes Unreal Engine and our offerings great. And so, yeah, this is one more way for us to recognize you. I know it's a digital reward, but I think it's super awesome for people to see you in there and say, hey, that guy's awesome. Look at the work he's been doing. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it, it's cool seeing those get to roll out. And on, on the note of badges real quick, um, we're actually looking at rolling out some Marketplace badges too for all the yeah. people that are creating content and selling on the Marketplace. Mm -hmm. And same thing for Wiki contributors. So yeah. Alex and I have been working quite a bit on what we're going to do for those. Mm -hmm. uh, some people are going to have some pretty hefty stacks of badges, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so look out for those things in the future. All right, next bit of news. So much news. All right, Train Jam. Train Jam. You probably missed out the original Train Jam tickets, and I don't even know if you can still buy tickets now. I haven't checked in a while. I know that they sold out pretty quickly from um, what the site had officially offered, but there's a Chicago to San Francisco train uh, or a series of trains that uh, you basically get to do a 52-hour game jam on leading up to GDC. Uh, it's pretty awesome, right? You just kind of hold up with a bunch of other game developers. It's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to challenge your skills. And we are an official sponsor this year. Um, so we're really happy to, to get involved with such an obscure and, and, and cool thing. We, you know, I remember seeing it a few years ago, and I was like, that is such a cool thing. I, I would love to be a part of it. Uh, unfortunately, I missed out on all the tickets, but our very own Michael Nolan will be 
uh, in really? attendance. Yeah. So. Oh wow! So you guys can go hang out with Michael. So if any of y'all are out there uh, in uh, at the train jam, uh, please feel free to uh, to try to find Michael and either. He's impossible to miss. He's like six three and has blue hair. Yeah, like, you can't miss him. Yeah, he's been on the stream a number of times. You've probably seen him. Uh, find him there. Either sabotage his game, help his game, or make him help you make your game. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's a list of sponsors. Thank you, oh, Unreal that. Engine. It's awesome. Us. So we're we're really excited to be a part of this this year, and uh, you know I. Like I said, I, my only regret is that I can't be there as yeah. well. So if you are going to go, let us know, though, so we can kind of, you know, pimp up your work and, and, and talk about uh, mm -hmm. the representation mm -hmm. from the awesome community out there. We, we'd love to know. All right. Uh, last bit of linkable news. <clears throat> the Unreal Engine December Game Jam has been announced. So normally we want to give you, we've been really bad at doing this, so I'll just go ahead and out ourselves now. <laughs> we want to give you two weeks after the announce the, to, to prepare for us to actually kick it off, but... Uh, since it's the end of the year now, we had Thanksgiving last time, uh, we've had, you know, one week uh, of announce to actual move into the event. So next week we're going to be kicking off the December Game Jam. It will be the last of the year. Uh, so uh, basically the gist of it for anybody that's new into the chat this week, uh, it's a uh, three-day Game Jam. You get well, three and a half, I guess. You get yeah. the, the end of the day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, submit in here. Michael Aller goes through and does really great uh, mm -hmm. live stream of every game that we get through there. He plays them through to completion immediately after the deadline. So uh, it's pretty cool. Like he'll go from midnight for up mm -hmm. to you know 14 hours at a time, so many times, and yep. <clears throat> it, it's really great. Uh, there, we we judge them based on um, you know fun factor, overall visuals, and unique use of theme. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know we just you know, kind of the highest wins across there. We'll have more detailed rules available in the future, and uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but please pre-register as we've been kind of trying to do that. It makes it easier on us if you send us yeah. in that kind of basic info, uh, as per the usual. Just PM me your chance. Yep, totally. Yeah. So pre uh, participating teams pre-registering. We know it's one extra step for y'all. We know that's adding a little bit of uh, friction to the whole process here, and we we apologize, but we really. <laughs> We really appreciate you doing this because what it allows us to do is get your information up front so we can we can judge, we can record mm -hmm. with a video, and we can um, actually get the winner swag out as soon as possible. Yeah. One of the problems, <laughs> if you remember, it took us quite some time to get the first swag packs out. One of it, <laughs> yeah. A lot of it was, it was like tracking, tracking down probably. people's information. Yeah, that's what it ended up being. Um, so this has been able to get us, uh, you know, have that turnaround quite a bit. Um, Shorter, so even the November shirts are on order right now, um, as opposed to waiting any longer. So those that have been asking, you should expect those within the coming week, certainly before the end of the year. Uh, your whole swag pack and everything from there. Uh, the Epic Mega Jam stuff is that all ship out yet? Uh, it's about to. Okay, great. Yeah, so we, yeah, those we, are those are staged. The, yeah, it, what we were waiting on is the shirts had to get printed and then come back, and we had unique shirts for that. So that's yeah. what took a while, but now we actually have everything ready to start going out the door. So Melissa and I will handle that this week. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, all of the rest of the Epic Mega Jam swag is on its way out uh, this week. So uh, yep. once we again, were, we are also working on making it a faster turnaround time too. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> um, and uh, this is not really something that we have actionable news on. You can kill the monitor at this point, thanks. Uh, it's not something we have action, uh, actionable news on at this point, but we will probably do, be doing a 2016 uh, Game Jam design uh, as well, so you know we yeah. got the one from Fighter that he won the competition yeah, last yeah. year, and that made all with of the, our shirts. With the, with the fist with the jam jar. Yeah, so that'd be like the 2015 ones. We, we'd kind of like to have every year to have like a unique shirt, so you know it just kind of keeps it fresh, keeps mm -hmm. it a little bit different over time. So look out for something like that in the future. Yep. Um, and thanks for everybody that participates there too. You know mm -hmm. we're we're con we're continually surprised and uh, like I say, surprisingly strange and odd games and yeah. fun things like the kitten rocket launcher. One last <laughs> time and, uh, there's so many amazing things here. We hope yeah. you get we hope you get as much um, out of them as we do. That's that's why we do it. So again, as we talk through a lot of these things, if you have feedback specifically on these things, feel free to head over to the feedback forums, drop a line in there, tag a community so we can get it on our radar. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, speaking of, we sent a, uh, a number of surveys out to the Epic Mega Jam participants uh, just to kind of get feedback about the event. Uh, thank you for that. Everybody yeah. that actually sent information back, we really appreciate yeah. it. That's really going to help us. I saw the us. percentage of people that actually like responded back is pretty good. Yeah, like, I wasn't expecting it. So we really appreciate that. That's going to allow us to kind of take everything up to the next step uh, as we move forward. So uh, yeah. All right. Some non-link news. Uh, we've been asked a little bit about 4101 over the last uh, 
few weeks or so, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to give you all good news. We're aiming at it for next week. So <clears throat> I looked over the list before I came in here. There's like 30 plus uh, enhancements, features, mm -hmm. fixes, things like that that are coming in 4.10.1. So it's, it's going to be pretty immediate. There's probably going to be more to grow. We still have a little bit to do before it's actually finally ready to go. Yeah. Um, but that'll be happening sometime next week, unless everything explodes and we, you know, software development ourselves, <laughs> how it all happens. Uh, so we're, we're happy to get, get that out. Look for a, you know, launcher update there. We'll probably be tweeting about it. Just follow us on the, you know, normal channels. Mm -hmm. And then also in release news, uh, we're really excited to be able to say that 4.11's Preview 1 is actually going to drop before the end of the year. So, for, yeah, for me, I am excited because <laughs> I get to spend some Christmas break time yeah. just tool around with all the great things that are coming. There's a lot of awesome stuff coming up. I'm pretty excited to see some of the new sequencer yeah. stuff. I mean, if you were here for the uh, 410 discussion with Mike Fricker and yeah. uh, Josh Adams, they talk more about 4.11, I think, even than 410. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, it's going to be cool. Yeah, so I'm stoked about that. So keep an eye out for that. It should be before the end of the year. Um, and it, I, I, I don't anticipate it being right before the end of the year. So it'll be before we take we break for Christmas. It's the goal currently at this point. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> wanted to let everybody know as well, as we talk about other things we're, we're trying to take a look at, uh, you know, getting feedback on. What are you doing over there? Oh, there's a, is that a mug? That's an owl. Got it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> We're, uh, we're planning a lot of the Twitch content for the next year and uh, some of the ways that we want to help y'all get involved. And so we're going to start talking about some things more publicly and we're going to mm -hmm. want your feedback on it. So look out for that. There's going to be the, the feedback form for Epics. I might even go into the events and say, hey, here's some things we're going to try. Uh, what do you guys think about this? And that'll let us kind of, you know, help make the best you know, content up here for you guys. I know, I know it's super thrilling to watch Alex and I just make fools of ourselves for an hour every week. <laughs> no, but, you know, pitching ideas and getting the feedback's all good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll probably make something like that happen. Um, I wanted to qu make a quick shout out to, uh, uh, give a big thank you to all the uh, marketplace creators and developers that participated in our Cyber Monday sale. Uh, it was super great. We were really, really happy to see, um, you know, the, the response from everybody on it. And uh, we're certainly going to be doing more like this in the future, so keep an eye out on all of our channels for updates there. Mm -hmm. uh, quick update on Marketplace stuff. Uh, so there's been a number of Marketplace asks uh, for Inside the Launcher over the last, I guess, I guess year since we launched. Yeah. And I was talking to the team earlier today just to kind of get some some you know idea about what's coming. Uh, we are going to have quite a bit of a richer experience in Launcher. Uh, same thing before the end of the year. So some of those long-standing requests are going to be coming online. And a lot of this functionality you currently see in the web you should be able to see in the launcher as well. So that's the goal. Uh, yep. We're working towards it. We can't wait to roll it all out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited about that because yeah, I've, I've seen some it, of the stuff here and I'm just like, yep, this yeah, is what Yeah, Stephanie we need. and I have been talking a lot about it, so we're, we're pretty hyped. Yeah, cool. Uh, I've had a lot of questions lately on Unreal Match 3 and when that's actually going to come out. Mm -hmm. uh, so first off, awesome that everybody thinks that it's you know, going to be such a great uh, tool for them. I certainly do. Like, it's going to be for it's me. It's Dana's fault because, you know, when she was hyping it up a lot, it's because she's addicted to it. And so yeah, she yeah. can speak from the heart that it's very addictive. <clears throat> a lot of people around here are playing it quite a bit. It's, you know, bulletproof uh, <laughs> bulletproof build at this point. You yeah. know, uh, Laura and I were chatting today. We're working on some, you know, analytic stuff, things like that. Uh, but it should be available to everybody, um, you know, in a couple weeks. So two weeks is kind of what we're aiming for right now. As we all know, things may slip with here or there a bit, but... Uh, so keep an eye out for that. We'll update the original forum thread on the Twitch that we did about it, and it'll be coming available in Learn Tab Project and everything, so you can kind of take this apart, mm -hmm. find out stem to stern an entire game that exists, uh, logic and all, C++ mm -hmm. blueprints. There's so much in this thing yeah, to you learn think about from. the whole thing. Yeah, yep. it's great. Just remember that the in-app purchases are real. <laughs> it's, it's like yes. it's a demo thing, yes. but, but in order to make the demo real, we had to make the purchases yeah, real. Make it real. Yeah, so oh. we don't want people to like pick it up and that's be on, like, that's ha, on, ha, that's ha, on the, I, I bought that, it. That's on the store version yeah. though, right? Uh, yeah, the, the actual proper store version, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. But they can run the project on their computer and not <laughs> just ac accidentally find I'm, things. <laughs> I don't want yeah. to say yes to that. You have to have like, FID in store. Oh, okay. There, so okay, cool. Right, 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 right. You do need FID. Uh, last bit of news before we move over to the community spotlight. Thanks for bearing with me on this. Uh, so uh, our good friends over at uh, Side Effects, mm -hmm. they've got a, a new Houdini engine plugin released. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you've seen Planet Alpha 31. You probably have. We have a, we've had a community spotlight. They won a dev grant. Mm -hmm. I know Adrian over there uses Side Effects for a lot of the things that he does inside of his game. 
Uh, Side Effects has sponsored the Epic Mega Jam, and we're we're hoping to work with them more in the future. You know, Ben over there and I are chatting about some things now, uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, but uh, we've got a quick video on that that's kind of outlines what you can do with it, and I think Clint's going to be able to kick it over now. There we go. Chairs and candles. There's a filthy table. I missed the clean that up. Yeah, it's not that bad. Come on. <laughs> Insulting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it looks like in here, you know, tweaking things inside the Houdini workflow and then they come straight over into Unreal Engine and you can, you know, make those edits on the fly there. So rapid prototyping, especially if you know the uh, you know the Houdini workflow, you'll be able to bring those same kinds of scenes in with the same level of flexibility uh, inside the editor. I think super powerful for the art pipeline. Art pipeline. The, the art of the pipeline. That's okay, you'll English one day. Yeah, I'll learn how to speak. Like, Chance, you can talk. Get on camera. And I'm like, this is a great idea. You just put him on camera. Yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, that so. Was neat. Yeah, so we're excited that that's coming out to everybody, um, especially those you know that, that use Houdini. And as we, like I said, as we work with with the, those teams over there to you know get licenses for EV4 and kind of bring our communities together. Uh, you know, I'm sure more people, more and more people will be using it. So uh, yeah. congrats for shipping that side effects, friends. Uh, we're just as excited as you are. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got for me. Alex, why don't you tell us what are cool things that are happening in the all community right. these days? Let's see here. On to community spotlight. Now, I will say real quick. This was hard to do since it's been a while since we've done this, and so many people have done so many yeah. great things over the last few weeks, right? I've really been having to pick and choose because we're sitting there like, oh, well, let's pick a couple extra community spotlight items. And it's actually that there were like 12 or 13 things I wanted to choose, but I didn't <laughs> want to do so much all at once. Yeah, so we're just doubling up since we missed last yeah. week. All <clears throat> right, so um, before we go to the actual stuff, let's pick our Answer Hub Top Karma Earners. We're going to get that new badge yeah, that we just showed. Yeah. We're going to get all that new badge too. Uh, all right, so Top Kar uh, Karma Earners. <laughs> oh, look who it is. It's Shadow River Shadow number River, one. Yeah. Uh, M House is number two. Jackie is three. number three. So you probably won't be getting another badge. Yeah, I can't double up with the badges, but if I could, I think Shadow River would just have like a list of badges yeah. like all the way to the floor, you know. Shadow River has um, been just killing it since day one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's. You know what? I'm adding the extra. Th I'm adding three more on because we 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 missed a a week, so we're gonna add in an extra three. So the next three are uh, okay. This is gonna be fun because I haven't pronounced this name. Yes. Begau Net. <laughs> I hope that's Bego right. Begau Net. Okay. Begau Net. Great. You uh, gotta try now. I can't. No. Oh. Okay. Great. No, that's just me. me. Just me. Yep. Um. Alderbit. Yep. Uh, I think that one was right. And then. The, Alexi Lin. Alexi Lin. Alexi yep. Lin? I think that was right. Very cool. I love so, people's handles when I just think. <laughs> like, eh. Yeah, so congratulations to all of our top commoners yeah. for this week. And again, thank you so much for all that you do for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's super helpful to people. Um, there have many, been many times that uh, I've learned a new tech or I've been I've known a tech and I got stuck somewhere. And it's community sites like this, people helping people, yeah. that have really made everything, all the difference in the world. So you're making a serious impact. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And um, so yeah, all I would say all six of you would get badges, but the, the three new people will be receiving badges. Um, please, you know, come on to the Answer Hub, start answering stuff, and see if you can get yourself on the high score list, and I'll give you a badge. It'll be really fun. Cool. All right. All right. Next up, we're doing something a little bit different. Onto the main screen. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Mm, okay, so I want to take a moment uh, every week now when we do the community spotlight to highlight a uh, something off of the wiki, a tutorial or whatnot, because we're going to be spending a lot more time uh, on it. So I wanted to show everyone this is actually a page that's been around for a little bit now, but it was um, user created called Blueprint Fundamentals. And it's kind of that page that everyone always asks for like, where's just the giant list of nodes and what they do? And the docs has those, but this has a lot more of the practical applications. Like, here's, you know, here's this. Uh, here you go. Yeah, here's here's what these nodes represent. Here's what they do, and a okay. lot more uh, user-based. You know, like first-hand experience. You know, what does it mean when I have these little pen, uh, these little 
get nodes, what is this? And yeah, so when you're first getting started with blueprints, it can be a little daunting, but the blueprint fundamentals uh, tutorial is really very great. Uh, just getting started, getting your head around what it is and how to kind of relate the logic. So I wanted to show that one off. Really yeah. good stuff. Nice. Yeah, this, this, this is like the, like mm -hmm. a, a prime example of, you know, community coming together and building something that is just staggeringly mm -hmm. awesome, right? Super cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and so, yeah, really, before we move oh, on yeah. real quick, go ahead and drop out down that navigation over on the side. Yeah, so this is also new stuff. If you guys look over on the navigation panel, you'll notice that things have been moved around, switched up, and we have new uh, new stuff being highlighted. It's kind of subcategories in here. Mm -hmm. the, the main goal is to kind of, you know, give a better logical way to find things on the wiki and even contribute, right? Um, so there's a number of UE4 games on here. We have a list of developer blogs, developer live streams. Uh, and some of these lists we used to keep on the forums, we're moving them over here too because they can be a little bit more living, right? Like so if somebody changes their, their Twitch name or whatever, they can update yeah. it inside here. Uh, there's the code sharing hub if you have a GitHub pull request that you want to just share with the community regardless of if we take it or not. Yeah, this is actually really, yeah, this is one of my favorite ones is, is just this and it's not very populated yet, but if you guys have made something and you don't know if it's going to get a pull request or not, you just want to throw it up there and say, hey, share it regardless, you know, right? share it one way or the other, you know, go right ahead. Um, and, and yeah, always feel free to edit the wiki. It's it's yours, really. Yep. You know, we just we just make sure it doesn't get too ugly. Cool. Totally. All right. Next up. Oh snap! What? <laughs> Refresh that. Yep. Oh, that's right. This page occasionally times out. Okay. So. <laughs> Zoom in just a little bit. Oh. Yes. Enhance. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Get out of there, Hulu ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have ad block on this. No. Okay, so, um, yeah, so the first thing that I wanted to show off is this really great, uh, I'm not going to play the video for, for all this, but I just want to show off these amazing screens. This is a uh, photorealistic architecture, uh, arc viz kind of thing, but it's of a drum kit uh, by, and I, I know I'm going to mess this guy's name up, it's Cigar uh, Rao. And he uh, he's done this just super realistic. Actually, wow. when I first saw these, I thought that they actually were photos. Yeah. I was like, that's a good looking drum kit. So he's gonna model that. That's cool. And then like, no, no, that's that's the, that's yeah. the thing. So the, these are there are some things that, that break a little bit of the realism, but overall, yeah, once, I mean, now that you, you know when you actually really look at yeah. it. Yeah. But that I mean the kit itself, the detail, the lighting, yeah. everything is just. Really impressive. I remember when this first came around. I was just like, God, look at the tiny detail. Like I can almost feel thing. the texture of that microphone. Yeah, you, like you know what I mean. Kind of reach out and touch it, feeling. Yeah, cool. But move on. That's uh, yeah. So dun, dun, again, dun. cigar row, very cool stuff. We will hopefully try to find you on the forum so we can badge you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the next thing we have is is called uh, fragmental. We actually have a video for it. We're gonna play first. Uh, yeah. Clint. So Fragmental was one of those that was on our uh, yeah, just kinda, pick, pick of the day. It was, and it, it was, was like, whoa, of the day. let's check and, out that. <laughs> and yeah, it's like, you can't just do picture of the day. You gotta do more for this. It's, it's so wild and exciting. <laughs> yeah, the second, yeah, the second cool. that I think they're gonna everyone at Epic noticed it. Oh, that's cool. Gotta try that. Super fast run and gun. Like the, the loser lays on the ground. Oh man, the level design is so cool. This looks like nutty. Kind of reminds me of Battery Jam, the other student project that we had up here. I think it's one of those student projects, just students that met a student from out there. Whoa, did y'all hear that thunder from the mic? Wow. Crazy. Anyway, fragmental. All the colors, all the action, all the magic. Song music. Steam green light. Yeah, they've got a green light. The, the music is really great. I, I do love the audio. And the colors, the color palette is one of my favorite things to you. So exciting. Da, da. Cool. Cool. Right. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, they have uh, they have up in work in progress on our forums. They have a yeah. page called uh, just fragmental um, up here. Yeah. yeah. Head over to the on the there we go. Uh, so pretty pretty straight, it's straightforward. This is uh, by Ruffian Games, by the way. I should have thrown that out there earlier, but Ruffian Games, uh, really great work. They're on Steam. Go check out uh, their page. Hopefully that's have... backgroundable, like that image above. I hope that's big enough. To if that's, yeah, that should be that a background. Is rad. Uh, 
Uh, maybe? Yeah. Maybe a little small, but whatever. Maybe I was making a background on my phone. Yeah. So every time I open my phone, it feels as awesome as that guy but is. But yeah, there's <laughs> a, the, you, you can, if you come on here and talk to them, I'm sure that they'll uh, give you some more details. But yeah, they're, they're asking for thoughts in here too, so yeah, they're, they're, and chat. they're looking for feedback, and they're cool dudes. Uh, really amazing, again, game. Oh, Jackie found Cigars Forum thread. Oh, cool. Nice. I didn't even realize yeah, that Cigar yeah. had a forum thread. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah, I... Sorry, you're not getting another, another, Beat another spot. batch. Okay, so so that was called Beat Spot. Beat Spot. I didn't know that that was the Got name. Got it. Um, okay, cool. Uh, next up, we have another video for what's coming up next. And now, uh, Illusion Ray reached out to me and oh, yeah. um, told me that they had something that was kind of neat and they thought would be spotlightable. Um, and so they sent a few trailers to me. I'm going to play this one here. Uh, these are these are VR experience kind of thing. You're not going to see it with the awful split screen. I'll show you the proper trailer, but um, they're working on a series of these. They're really uh, intense and action-packed kind of experiences. Lots of cinematic style and quality to it. They died. Very <laughs> dramatic. Those are bones. That guy is really dead. That's not a guy. That was like not a triceratops. They can eat guys. That, no, I don't, well, yeah, I guess so. That's true. <laughs> they were probably male in the species, I guess. Yeah, so the, the other ones that, uh, I'm not gonna yeah. play through all of them, they also have a, a pirate one, yeah. which is very swashbuckly. And, uh, is it? Yeah, it's cool. And uh, they have one that's newer that they're gonna uh, show off more of, which is about the afterlife. Yeah, yeah there you go. that's exciting. Dino Safari. Yeah. I remember when that happened to me once. It was not great. <laughs> Bro. Dino Safari Oculus Rift experience. Nice. Yep. Cool. Cool. Illusions. <laughs> yeah, that one guy got eaten. It's terrible. All right. <laughs> That's yeah. terrible. <laughs> it just feels so bad for that one little dinosaur. So yeah, um, so they have up here is a dino safari, uh, the hunt begins, and you can see... Seven minute cool. long cinematic experience. Yeah, so, so they, they do like the full, you know, looking, uh, uh, what is it, movie, uh, trailer, poster, and all that. And um, Afterlife, and I'm... Uh, oh, motor ride! I forgot about motor ride. I'm oh, sorry. Dude. This is you know if you like dirt bikes through crazy canyons and stuff and pirates 3D. This is actually the one that I want to see yeah. more of because it just looks really exciting and there's like a weird kraken monster thing and, and very just expecting Johnny Depp to show up and you know smack I'm, you in the face. I'm always expecting Johnny Depp to show up just <laughs> in life before I go. Well, that's yeah. That's just because you know him, right? <laughs> Personally. Cool. Yeah. Good work. Cool. Yeah, awesome, awesome work, guys, and I uh, can't wait to see more out of this, because, yeah, those are just trailers. They're not actually released yet, so. Illusion Ray. All right. Now, this is actually one of the very rare times, this next thing I'm going to show you, rare times that I want to um, show another spotlight item again, but <laughs> with these updates. Yeah. Uh, Clint, just play the video. <laughs> so, like, so, we showed off the augmented reality marker-based uh uh, plug-in and they did this update with real-time changes so you can see he's scaling it rotating it in real time and there's a shadow being cast at based, all times yeah at finding all times. the plane below it yeah so so it figures out kind of like a rough idea of what the plane is below it and what's interesting if you look on like the phone and you can see the shadow casting on there too yeah so it's and then yeah changing the color but this was just so cool I wanted to uh, show it off now that he has this amazing new video and it just seems to unlock a lot of possibilities if you want to do something in uh, AR or... What a time, if, man. Yeah, like this is... Crazy. Yeah, remember when we had pixels and... We still yeah, it's like, it's like a trophy of a bike. You know, imagine a case <laughs> yeah. full of these things. Remember we had physical trophies? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, now you just get like a weird little block and you run an app and then you can see it. Can yeah. you imagine how crazy people might think you are sometimes? Like being at a coffee shop and like playing fake cards with their friend. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, they're like, those yeah. people are not. I say cool, but right. that's the opposite of, it's, it's <laughs> interesting, but it's not what people would call cool. That's awesome. <laughs> oh Great. my gosh, yeah, and the FPS that it's running at is insane. So I think it says like 200 at some points. I don't even know how he's doing it. So that's, it's pretty amazing stuff. That's great. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, they have a website you can check out. These guys are on the forums, right? Yeah, these guys are these guys are on the forums, but they actually have a website now um, called uh, Unreal, Unreal f the number four AR dot com, and so Unreal Four AR, and so they're they're still innovating it and going, you know, crazy with it. But you can check out the plug in there. Cool. Yeah, please check it out. It's amazing stuff. I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I'm a fan of the future. Yeah, it's. I finally I can play Yu-Gi-Oh on the next level. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, it's almost like what was that? Uh, Eye of Judgment. On yeah, Eye of Judgment. Yeah, That's yeah. immediately what I compared it to, and, yeah. and then I immediately realized like, man, I wish they had done more with that. But we we've come so far done. now with like new capabilities, right? Mm -hmm. Even from that, mm -hmm. or even like the the augmented reality on the, the 3DS stuff too. Yeah. Like, it's it's really going to be impressive where all these things end up uh, with VR, AR. It's an exciting time to be alive. Yeah, I, I won't be totally satisfied until I can run up to my friend and be like, "It's time to duel," and then we like, psh, like putting our cards out. No, you, would you be into that? Oh, no? I probably wouldn't do that. No, no. Okay. I probably do something cooler. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> like you could even think of something cooler. So is that, So is is that our spotlight? Yep, that's that's our that's spotlight. It. That was by Adam uh, Horvath. Before I forget again. So got it. Cool stuff. Excellent. All right, so yeah, we know we're going to be a little short today. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had a whole lot of news to come by uh, and get out to you. And you know, like I said, we're everyone's kind of heads down, making some really great things. Uh, we're going to have a lot more to talk about very soon. So, uh, Alex, what's on training next week? Training, Sam and Wes. Uh, it's yeah, I think it's Sam and Wes mm -hmm. is next time because it's not going to be me and Ian. Yeah. And uh, and so yeah, they should be continuing on with. They had a carnival game, which yeah, is carnival the, game. That's yeah, right. the carnival game where you're throwing balls at cans and also into Nick Whiting's mouth. Great. Which is still the best <laughs> thing ever. Yeah. So they'll be doing a VR carnival game. Yes. Yeah. yeah VR carnival games. Uh, a continuation week. of that with the motion controly kind of stuff. Yep. So that should be fun. So yeah. If you're into VR, you're looking how to looking into trying to figure out how to you know integrate motion control into your game. Uh, this is definitely a one to check out. I, I've had a number of questions lately about it, and I keep sending people back to those videos. I'm like, oh, these are fantastic. I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, those guys do a really good job. So Tuesday at the same time, 2 o'clock, uh, we hope to see you there. Uh, next week, we'll be back here, uh, sitting here on the couch. I yeah, and, and then Thursday, we're announcing the theme of the Game yep. Jam game. And the yeah, we'll, 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 kick, we'll kick it uh, off then. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that should be it. we love everybody. <laughs> Love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we will see you around next time. Yeah, see you around.